Welcome back to AWF Outdoors. The weather finally starting to break a little bit and we're getting out of those 90s and upper 90s and stuff and uh, just allowed me to get out here and shoot my black powder pistol some. Uh, the reason I hadn't shot it yet in those high temperatures is using the bore butter in the cylinders to, to uh, pack them full, you know, to keep the spark off of the other cylinders. During the hot weather when this gun's been shot, you know, the, it's hard to well, you can't use bore butter. I mean, it's just going to melt right out of it. But anyway, the weather's cooled off a little bit. We're in the 80s today. And decided to come out here and um, give it a shot here and get used to my pistol again. I hadn't shot it since last year. And what I'm shooting today is, um, is a Pietta brand. It's a 1858 replica of the Remington 1858. And this, this model actually has the sights on it. You can buy them with or without sights, or adjustable sights, or rear adjustable sight. Uh, it uses a number 10 cap, like the number 11, except it's a little bit different size, number 10. You can use the number 11, you just have to pinch them together a little bit. But uh, this is a 44 caliber. I'm shooting a, I think it's a 240 grain round ball, 44 caliber. And... Uh, I'm really accurate out to this, out to 40 yards with this thing, uh, and I don't want to shoot a large game animal such as a deer past 40 just because of the power of it. But it's a really fun gun to shoot, no kick whatsoever. Got a little smoke. Um, it gets dirty, really dirty, you know, when you shoot a few rounds through it. But um, yeah, so I got this target set up right here behind me right now, and I've got it set up on uh, 25 yards. Later on, you know, closer to deer season gets here or pig season, I'm going to move it on out to 40 and, and probably beyond. Uh, although I won't shoot a deer past 40 with this because of the power, uh, I'm planning on doing some pig hunting. And I think I can get this gun shooting good enough to be able to shoot these pigs in the ear, which is a place that you can hit them and drop those pigs, and uh, that way there's no tracking. So that's what I'm doing today is just see how tight of a group I can get with it. And get it down to where I can get dialed in to take an ethical shot shooting at that pig's ear, which is gonna neutralize him. So um, let's get the show on the road. And uh, if you enjoy stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell over on the right side also to where you get notifications each time I post a video and you don't miss this stuff or miss these things. But uh, yeah, let's get to shooting. I don't like those kind of shots. The cap sounded weak and didn't ignite the powder. When this happens, just keep your gun pointed at the safe direction for a few minutes. Uh, because if uh, you rotate that cylinder and that powder's burning slow right now, it's gonna go off. And we just have to make sure that the powder didn't ignite and burning really slow. So, I hate when that happens, but it's part of black powder hunting. It's what causes a lot of people to miss their animals when they're shooting at them. So, I'm going to leave this gun just pointed in a safe direction here. Just a few more minutes before I attempt to rotate that cylinder. <laughs> because if I rotate that cylinder, we're going to have a shot come out of the side of this barrel or side of the chamber right here. I think we're probably safe to, to go ahead and rotate. So let's go ahead and take another shot.
what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab me another cap so I can see that it's this cylinder here. So I'm gonna rotate that cylinder around to this side where I can access it. And I'm gonna pop this cap off. I'm gonna stick us another cap on there. And now I'm gonna rotate that cylinder back around. Get it back on there. Okay, you can hear how weak that shot was. Uh, what it is, is the last time I went to shoot my gun, I went ahead and loaded it. But I went ahead and loaded the gun. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity to go shoot. So these rounds that I just shot here have been in my gun now for about a month. And, uh, and they've got bore butter over the top of the bullet. So, you know, it, anything could have happened. The gun was clean when I loaded it, so it apparently absorbed some moisture somehow or another and got into the powder, caused that one misfire or hang fire. And uh, if you ever have that to happen where your cap goes off and your load doesn't, I mean, unless you're got a, unless you're shooting an inline or something that you know that's not going to blow backwards on you or blow out the side of a, a, re, a revolving cylinder here. You know, I would wait for a few minutes and make sure that that powder, because it could be a powder that's just moist for some reason, it's burning very slow, but then all of a sudden it hits the dry powder and it goes ahead and explodes. And those are called hang fires. Uh, it happens in black powder, and, uh, you know, I'm sure it probably can happen in smokeless powder in some cases, but especially with black powder. So let's go out here and look at this target. and. I don't expect this group here to be nowhere near what, what this gun is capable of shooting just because of the powder issue. And like I said, you just noticed that some of the powder didn't burn as well as others. So, but I'll load this gun again and load it on some fresh powder and we'll do another target shoot and see how well it does. So let's go look at the target. This is a very sloppy group and I'm going to blame it on the powder because like I said it's been loaded for a few days. So uh, let's put us, put us up a new target and go ahead and we'll, we'll put us up a new target and then go ahead and reload our pistol with some fresh powder and uh, try that again. Okay we got us a new target set up here. And we're going to shoot three more rounds with some fresh powder. That's a lot more powerful than that older powder was. Okay, that looked like that hit about an inch high, half inch right. That's an inch low, inch left. All right, that's three shots, and uh, let's go look at it. I was holding a little low on the first shot, so uh, I mean on the, on the second two shots. The first shot hit a little bit high, but not too bad. Not too bad of a group at all. And uh, plenty good enough group to, to go hunt with. 
and I know I can, I'm capable of shooting a better group than that. I'm just kind of in a rush. It's getting kind of hot out here. And I appreciate y'all following along. Um, I'll post some more videos on black powder hunting or black powder shooting. So, uh, yeah, y'all check out the black powder world on, uh, you know, rifles and inlines have been popular now for several years. And, uh, but something that most people look over is the is the handgun or the pistol. If you're gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not saying it's the best gun out there, but uh, it's a very, dep uh, it's dependable, uh, was the most dependable army issue pistol at the time and the strongest. And that's the 1858 Remington. So, uh, and it allows you to shoot a revolver, you know, so you got more than one shot while you're black powder hunting and these guns are legal to shoot with for deer hunting purposes at least here in alabama um, you would have to really study the laws and and understand how they're written to understand this and i've discussed this with many biologists and law enforcement officers in our game and fish already but as long as this gun is the original type black powder where you have to load your bullets and powder uh, basically muzzle load uh, th these handguns are legal to use during deer season so you know if you want to if you want to uh, shoot deer with a pistol uh, I don't advise shooting them very far with it because it's not a really powerful gun and uh, this will make pass through shots and I've done that before so uh, appreciate you watching again and I'll post some more videos on the black powder so hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up too that really helps me out on the on the YouTube and uh, thank all of y'all again. So appreciate it. See you next time. God bless.